Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve a problem on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So this is the problem of the day. So the problem is add all greater values to every node in a BST. First of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be quoting it up. Right? But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed our channel till now, then guys, please make sure to subscribe. It will really motivate me to make more such content for you and definitely the channel will be helpful for you. So do subscribe our channel and do join our Telegram community as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself. So let's understand the problem statement now. The problem says given a BST, that is a binary search tree, you have to modify it so that all greater values in the given BST. So here they are considering what kind of values? Greater values. So greater values in the given BST are added to every node. Let's understand the same with the help of an example. Right? So here is the first example. This is the tree given to us 50, 30, 70, 20, 40, 60, 80. So these are the nodes present in the tree. On modifying this particular tree, this is what we are getting. This is the uh, traversal given to us so this is what we are getting in order traversal is given to us on modifying this tree according to the given statement so the tree should be modified to following as you can see 260 330 150 350 300 210 80 we will be understanding this that how this is basically happening so whatever task is uh, we have to complete the function modify which takes one argument root of the bst the function should contain the logic to modify the bst so that in the modified bst Every node has a value equal to the sum of its value. So understand it carefully that every node should having a value equal to the sum of its value in the original BST. And values of all the elements larger than it in the original BST. Right? So return the root of the modified BST. So expected time complexity is big O of n and expected auxiliary space is also specified. So I hope that the problem statement is clear to you. So now let's move to the logic part. So let's say if this is the tree given to us, the output for this is going to be this one. So let's understand how this is happening. As according to the given question, what we are having is that in all the nodes, the value greater than it should be added. So if we start from here, let's say we have 80. So is there any value that is greater than that of 80 in this particular tree no right so in the output tree you can see that it is at the value of 80 is as it is then comes 70 so we know that 80 is greater than that of 70 hence 80 plus 70 will be giving you 150 that's what we are having here now if you will check for this node 60 so how many values are greater than that of 60 70 as well as 80 so 80 plus 70 will be giving you 150 and 150 plus 60 the node value itself that will be 210 and that's what we are having here now let's come to the root node that is 50 so how many values are greater than that of 50 70 80 60 when you will be adding them you will be getting 210 plus the root value that is 50 so 210 plus 50 we are having here 260 now let's move to the now let's come to the left part of the tree right so First of all, let's talk about this node 40. So how many values are greater than that of 40? 50, 70, 60, 80. And 30 and 20 are what? It's smaller. So, the, so we are not going to consider them. So 260, if you will add all these values, 50, 70, 60, 80, you will be getting 260 plus 40. We will be having what? 300. And that's what we are having here. Now for 30, how many values are greater? So all these values, 50, 70, 60, 80, 40. So we are going to consider all of them and the node value itself. So 330, that's what we are having here. Similarly, in this case, we'll be having uh, the 330 plus 20, this value, we'll be having 350, right? So I hope you must have understood that how we are calculating the sum, how the summation is getting calculated. So the problem statement should be pretty much clear to you now. Now let's understand that what basically we can do. Now, when I was explaining, I started from the rightmost node, that is 80. Then we were moving to the root part. Then we were moving to the left side. So can you think about something that what we are actually trying to do? Or do you have any idea about in order traversal? So in, in order traversal, if you will see, we always get sorted order. 
if you are talking about BST and if you are considering the in order traversal, so in order traversal always gives a sorted order. How? Because what is the in order traversal precedence? First of all, visit the left child, then root node, and then the right one. And you know that left child is smaller than that of the root, and right child is greater than that of the root. So this is going to give a sorted order. Now here, when I was just explaining and traversing one node to another one, so what I was doing? The reverse in order. It means first of all we went to what? We went to right child, then we went to root node, and then we went to the left child. So this is the reverse of the in order traversal. We can say reverse in order traversal, right? root left okay so we are going to do the same it's not a very complicated question it's an easy one just some observation is here so we are going to do the same we'll be starting from the rightmost part we'll be maintaining a global variable let's call it as s initialize this with zero so as of now for this particular case you know that there is no such value that exists which is going to be greater than that of 80 in the tree so the value will remain as it is now we are, will be updating the value of s as 80 moving to the root part so whatever is the value in the root node that is 70 add update its value by its value itself that is 70 plus 80 uh, or i should say the value that is present in s so 80 plus 70 you will be having 150 here now we'll be moving to the left left part according to the traversal that i just mentioned now so the value of node is what 60 and the value of s is what s is what so s value also will be updating here 150 so 150 plus 60 you will be getting 210 now update the value of s that is going to be 210 let me write here 210 and we'll be moving to the root node so the value is 50 and the value of s is what 210 so update it as by the summation so you'll be having 260 now s value will be updated to 260 now as if the traversal follows what that first of all we'll be visiting the rightmost child right child so first of all we'll be moving to this 40 so whatever is the value in this that is 260 plus the node value that is 40 so you will be having 300 here now we'll be moving to the root part right according to the traversal sequence so also let me update the value here in the s variable that is going to be 300 so 300 plus the value of node that is 30 so 300 plus 30 you will be having 330 here now we'll be moving to the left child that is 20 uh first update the value of s that is going to be 330 now so now as if we are we are moving to this child that is left child that is 20 so 20 plus 330 is going to give us 350 so now how our tree looks like let me write here 260 then 330 then 150 then 350 then 300, then 210, and here we were having 80, right? So this is the expected answer. This is the expected tree. This is the expected tree that we were actually looking for. So I hope the logic part is pretty much clear to you. The same problem is present on the lead code platform as well. If I could recall it properly, so the problem on the lead code, the same problem is there, named as greater sum PST, right? So I am providing the link for that as well in the in the description so you can just check this as well and you can just solve both the problems that on the geeks or geeks platform as well as on the lead code as well right even i have provided the even i'll be providing the code as well in the comment in the description itself so that you can get some sort of idea regarding the code part as well so now let's move to the code part and discuss the same so this is the logic that we just discussed like we have implemented the same in the code part so here we are maintaining a global variable that is s initialized with the value 0 and I have made the helper function for the same uh, logic part that we just discussed. So this is our helper function. What we are doing here is now what the weight, uh, base condition will be that if root value is null so we have to simply return. Otherwise according to the traversal sequence first of all we will be moving to the right child right and here we are doing what that add the value that is present in s to the current node value whatever is the current node value add the value of s to it also we are updating the value of s as uh, that the value that is present in the node part that is s equal to root dot data and then we are moving to the left part left child right so i hope the uh, logic part is well clear the code part is also clear it's not needed that you have to define this extra function we can do the same implementation in this function itself right so 
it's on you like uh, whatever the code you are coming up with whatever the implementation you are coming up with so i hope everything is clear uh, do let me know about your thoughts the logic the implementation that you have done for this particular problem thank you for watching this video and you can just check out the code in the description even and don't forget to share and subscribe our channel thank you for watching this video bye bye